What's up guys? Iceman here. First off, I wanted to let you guys know that this is my second channel, Haunting Tales from the Iceman. So if you will, give this video a like and subscribe to this page to help me out. So apparently, a giant crocodile devoured an eight-year-old boy and even ripped his head off. Crocodiles and alligators alike really freak me out. But I've never really been in a place that natively has crocodiles. I've been around alligators before and on occasion I'll visit Florida. But whenever I go out there, I'm always very cautious around the water or rivers and things of the like. But nonetheless, let's check out this tragic story. It was reported earlier this week that a crocodile decapitated a boy in front of his parents in Costa Rica. An eight-year-old boy was playing with his family on the banks of the Matina River near his home in the town of Lyman when the crocodile attack took place. The large reptile ravaged the boy's body, tearing him to pieces and dragging the rest of him into the depths of the water. It shook him and ripped off his head. An eyewitness described the brutal attack. The parents of the child watched helplessly as their son was preyed upon by the reptile. The hardest part for the wife was watching her son's body float away with the crocodile. The father told the media, Details of the October 30 crocodile attack resurfaced after parts of the boy's body were found in the stomach of a crocodile killed by hunters on November 26. Locals believe the remains belong to the young victim. Despite the findings, the incident highlights the importance of protecting and balancing the country's wildlife. It was around 2 p.m. when the large crocodile suddenly appeared out of nowhere and attacked the boy. The boy then fell into the knee-deep water of the Matina River. The boy's family watched helplessly in horror as the creature decapitated their son. From this incident, an unknown hunter shot a crocodile in the area, and the locals cut it open to discover hair and bone fragments from a human being. Locals placed the child's bones and scalp in a plastic bag after contacting local authorities. Apparently, between 1990 and 2017, there was a significant increase in crocodile attacks in Costa Rica. Jeez. What do you guys think about this incident? Could you imagine how horrifying it would be to watch your child be devoured by such a beast? Especially if it's in the water or something, because the water adds an entirely new element of danger, I think, and unknown. Shark attacks and crocodile attacks scare me more than, say, a bear attack, because at least with bears, you're out in the open if you want to be, and you can pay closer attention to your surroundings. Whereas if you're in murky water or something, you won't even see it until it's like touching your leg. But let me know if you guys have heard about this incident and what precautions would you take if you live in alligator or crocodile territory. Let me know in the comments below and like this video if you will for more haunting tales from the Iceman.